break a bit earlier than you think it. Get that early apex. A bit too early. Oh! Oh, hello, fans. Yes. Oh, that was a big one! Why do you always do this? Focus! I'm here! Hey guys, Jimmy here, and welcome back to another video. So you may remember, about a week or so ago, around then, I did a video in F1 cars at the Nordschleife, because F1's going back to the Nürburgring, and in my mind that means the big fun Northern Loop, not the small GP circuit. And something that I struggle with a lot during that video is hybrid deployment, because as per F1 rules, you only get a certain amount of hybrid to deploy Per lap. It used to be back in the day that it was about eight seconds of curves per lap. I'm not, I think it's more of a like an energy usage nowadays. What that basically meant is that I ran out of ERS before I'd even got through the first sector of the Nordschleife. Whilst hybrid has this sort of interesting image of being like a Toyota Prius, I guess that's what I think of when I think of hybrid anyway. In racing applications, it's pretty damn cool. You only have to look at the uh, now dying LMP1 cars, which has about 500 horsepower of combustion engine and then about 500 horsepower of hybrid. At a press of a button. It's not quite that much in F1. I think it's about 160, 180 horsepower or so, which is still the same power as sort of a normal family saloon. So after that video, a bunch of you got in touch with me, and thank you so much for doing that, and basically told me how to get rid of that deploy restriction, which means that now I can use as much hybrid as I can regenerate. So in this video, I'm going to be testing out just how much of a difference that makes. And to do that, I have a fairly awesome idea in mind. Now, in real life, the Porsche 919 Evo, an LMP1 car with those similar restrictions removed, lapped the Nordschleife in 5 minutes and 19 seconds. Today, we're going to try and beat that. And given that my favourite ex-Formula 1 driver didn't get to start the British Grand Prix last time, we're going to be driving as, well, sort of as him, in the racing point. Just ignore the 11 on there. So for this, I'm going to need the softest tyres possible, of course. And I'm also going to make sure that we're recovering as much hybrid as possible. So we can use as much as possible. Oh, thank you, Assetto Corsa. Thank you for unmapping my throttle for the 4,000th time. This is my favourite thing in the world. Time to see what we can expect then, I guess, for our flying lap. Now, look at the steering wheel. Probably just about to see it as I'm turning it. Left bar is how much ERS we have, the green bar, and the blue bar is basically how much we have to use over the lap. That will not diminish at all because we have unlimited deploy, so it's all about just keeping a little bit of hybrid there. We've got the boost button here, we're going to nail it down through hats and back end. You can see it draining a little bit, but the speed increasing! <laughs> Gotta make sure to watch out for those curbs though, they're still scary. And as I said, it's only about 160, 180 horsepower, but it's definitely enough to, to speed you up substantially compared to what you had before. So we can use it all the way up here. Pedometer on screen there, well, on the wheel. 300k is coming with food plat, so we then just keep it flat over the top. I also have DRS map as well. I didn't have that open last time because I'm the big clever. All the way down the hill. This is where the 919 hybrid in real life would walk away from this car. Nearly 20 mile an hour down here for that car. We're stuck, limited by downfall somewhat. If I haven't decreased that a little bit on our fast lap. It picks up a lot quicker on that boost, it really does. But I still think the majority of the lap time is going to come from just getting round here in one piece. Oh my god. Why do I even talk? Why do I even talk? Yeah, I definitely feel like I'm running a bit too much downforce here already. Just on this lap. I'm limited quite a bit. The thing is, though, there are so many corners on the Nordschleife. It's so hard to set up a car for the circuit. It's all quite different. Lots of very fast speed parts like this, where, as you can see, pretty much flat for a miss hit miss. And then you get onto the back straight, which is just a big old straight line where you want no wing at all. Also trying to work out just to where I should be using this hybrids on this lap and how much I can use before it starts to regenerate. And this massive uphill section coming up towards the uh, the carousel is where we're going to feel the uh, the biggest difference with, with the hybrid, I think. Because we can just keep pushing past the aero. Usually that we get stuck we, we get stuck around here. Hybrid off now. We sort of get stuck at 300k. So we're back on again. And we can keep pushing through, keep gaining speed. And 10 more Ks up here is a big difference up to the carousel now. Now, what I learned from my last video is that I can actually yeet this car into there if I'm careful of it. Careful yeet. Oh, I mean, that sort of worked, didn't it? Yeah, okay. I'll take that. Oh, but this section through here is absolutely mad. I love it. Oh, God. 
Lucky I'm doing an outlap because it's been pretty terrible so far. <laughs> Okay, so what I've learned from this outlap, I think, is that we need to run less downforce because we need to really make the most of this acceleration zone. If we have this hybrid, our kind of pure use for it is initial acceleration and then really uh, pushing us past uh, the aero barrier at top C, so to speak. So we're going to take some downforce off, I think, and then see how that works out for a flying lap. Because even now, what are we, we're at 4 minutes 30 right now. I think this uh, 5.19 time is quite beatable just how much buy i'm not sure so i've taken a lot of wing off the car it's gonna be my first time driving it over this downforce so this might not go too well but let's have a let's have a stab shall we let's try our first flying lap here we go then unlimited hybrids already got much more top end but of course through here the bite on the front of the car not quite the same but be careful on these curves not really much you can do to set up an f1 car to take the nord's life of curves Far too stiff. Around this flat out right hander, already carrying more speed than we did last time through here. I'm gonna just touch the boost button, gets up to 200 mile an hour, and then let us just sit down here. 325 kg, yeah, much faster down here this time than our outlap. And then heavy on the anchors. Tuck it in, bit wide, back on the boost. Love it. Every car should have a boost button. Every car. Break a bit earlier than you think it. Get that early apex. Bit too early. Oh! Oh, hello, fans. But even from that rather unsuccessful first attempt, I think that we can run even less downforce. So let's do that. So less downforce on the car. I've also added the uh, lap timer and the speedometer there. So I forgot to put it on at the start because I'm a good video maker. No, I'm not. All right, let's try again. Boosty boy! The speed. We're going so quick, the downforce doesn't really matter. We're generating enough just for, from being strong in a straight line. Oh, God. There you go. And this little section through here. Feels like a Mickey Mouse section in one of these cars. It's so quick. Try not to lock up too much. Watch out for the curbs! Heck! Yeah, let's start with the one. Alright, let's go again. Turn in, you little bitch. Oh, she's speedy. I'm not even looking at my speed through there. I'm just looking at the road ahead. This is how this becomes after a while. In one of these cars around this sort of circuit, you've got to just be turbo focused. Which is hard when you're chatting away as well. Oh, back end tried to get away from me again through there. Let's open her up. Using the hybrid all the way through here. We'll use a little bit of a, bit of a boost down here. Get us up to 20 mile an hour. Then the uh, ICE take over. All right. Go, let's go faster. 330. There you go. Now nah, faster. 335. <laughs> Top of eighth gear. And then. Oh, there you go. Starting to feel that lack of downforce a tiny bit under braking. Not quite the same potential. Using gravity down here a bit just to speed up. Didn't really need the hybrid as much. Over the crest. And slower down. Like an earlier apex than you think for this one. Don't spin it. Oh, you see the car again trying to just come around to me in the same place. Say hello to the rebel tree. How you doing? Yeah. Got to be careful on that power application because even when you're in fourth gear, the car wants to wheel spin out the corners. It's just glorious. Remember to keep using that boost. I've got it manually on my uh, wheel here. I've got to remember to be using that. There's the lack of downforce we we're talking about. Luckily, it's not the terrifying lack of downforce where you oversteer. It's the understeer one, which is something I can live with. Oh, man. These modern F1 cars are something. They really are. Some people dislike them. I understand why, because it's not my B12. It's not my B10. But just as a feat of engineering, they are wholly impressive. So, again, this is where we're going to see the biggest benefit of the uh, ERS up here. We're going to just nail it. Hopefully sit somewhere by 300 k for the majority of this. Might even get 200 up here, actually. We are going to get 200. If I let go, will we keep it? Let's try and keep it above 200. That's a good place to keep. Got 200 mile an hour up here. One of these things is mad. Bravery corner, though, is just nothing. Even at that speed, the downforce is just compressing the car into the floor. Oh, stop blocking up, Jimmy. 
Right, this is going to be tricky into here. I've got to be careful. It's very easy to lose a lap here, so I'm going to just err on the side of caution. And not so bad. A little bit slow through there, but should be okay. Now remember, we have five minutes, 19 to beat. That's our goal. Easy for this section. Oh my gosh. Car gets light as you go over the crest there. She is trying to kill me. Just like my... No. <laughs> bad. Ball oh, gone. This is where we're going to suffer the most of that lack of downforce. This last section is really all about mid-speed cornering. We don't quite have that compared to the original setup, and we still have a ton of it, of course. We're in a bloody F1 car, but when you take off two-thirds of the downforce, it starts to notice it a bit. Easy over here. Oh, downforce just sucks us to the floor there. We're going to go flat through there, but I was brave. I'm just holding the boost all the way through this section. I'm going to get off the hybrid for a second, try and recharge a little bit. As to come in to the back straight, it'd be important to have a big dose on there. Second carousel. Uh, no one likes you. Oh, I have to slow down so much out of there. So we've got a minute just about to get to the line. This should be quite easily doable. I wonder if we'll get underneath five minutes. I don't know. 40 seconds to do it. So, got my boost on. DRS is now open. Oh, the speed! There you go! Three, four, five! Bang in the limiter. I've got to get off the boost for a second, and then we'll get back on to going back down the hill. I don't think it's going to quite be in these five minutes. And not, man, so close to being only five minutes. Five minutes, 0.7. Smashing the 919 Evo around here. Do you, know, do you know what that makes me want to see, right? I would love to see, and I'm sure you guys probably agree with this, like a Mercedes F1 car Evo. Like an F1 car without the shackles of fuel restriction, hybrid restriction, stuff like that, and just basically goes right. Go and destroy some lap times and some necks. That would be mad. But there you go, lads. Smash it. Absolutely smash it. I didn't expect it to be, be quite by that much, but uh, pretty damn quick indeed. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video and an insight into what F1 might be like without hybrid restriction. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to tap that like button, subscribe, do all the good stuff. And again, if you're interested in some sexy... Mazda MX-5 base merch, which is definitely the same as uh, an F1 car. Check out the links below. A big thank you to my Patreon sponsors. Take care. Have an awesome day. See you all next time. And good luck, Hulk, for the Grand Prix. Please, please start this time. <laughs>